Hey, my name is Ross. I am here at Philip Ambulances today with a 2012 F450 Ford Type 1 4x4 ambulance. And this thing is loaded, uh, loaded with a every option you could probably imagine with it also has a power load system and we are selling it either with or without the striker power load power load cot so it does come with the power load system which is staying with the truck and then the cot is optional so let's take a quick tour inside the ambulance this thing has air ride suspension on the back so it drops down as soon as you open up the rear door. It's also overridable. So there's a little uh, switch button here. So if I, if I were to push that, the ambulance would go back up. Uh, I'm gonna, for right now, for the video, I'm gonna keep it down so that I could show you how to uh, unload the ambulance stretcher. So I'm gonna do this, try to do this with one hand. So I'm gonna push this down and then hard to do with one hand Let's push that down yep so there we go again I'm doing this with one hand pulling the stretcher out and then all I got to do is uh, lower the feet so I got the feet out and then I gotta push this button here in the center and that's it, voila. I am out of the ambulance with one hand. Stretcher is on the ground and then to load it, so I'm gonna push it again with one hand. Got it locked in. Now I gotta push the, again, one hand, got the feet in, slide it in. And I'm locked. So there you go. One hand, unload and load. Obviously you don't want to do it with one hand when you are got a patient on there. Uh, but this is just for a video purpose only. It's got a side CPR seat, squad bench, and then it's got a captain's chair back there with a built-in child restraint seat. It has LED lights throughout the ambulance, it's extremely bright inside, so it's got LED strip lights, LED interior dome lights, and then it uh, has uh, really nice clean cabinets throughout the ambulance, so all these operate really good. Uh, these slide really nice and freely, and then all of these cabinets are flip up, so uh, they are easy to restock if you need to restock the entire cabinet or if you need to inventory the cabinet. So you just press up on these right here, press up on that. And then this whole cabinet goes up like that. So you could uh, inventory all your stock for, uh, you could also um, easy for restocking if you use up a lot of the supplies inside the cabinet. Uh, and then they drop back down and then lock into place like that. And then again, all these windows slide nice and freely. There is a main oxygen port in the ceiling. Uh, there's also two oxygen ports by the action area. And then there's a fourth oxygen port in the squad bench area. It is uh, equipped with a Ferno uh, Life Pack 12 defibrillator mount. And then there's also outlets behind it. So you could plug in your, your monitor and have it plugged in and charging. Uh, these cabinets all slide out. There's also a side CPR seat with storage underneath. So it's got stainless steel interior on that side CPR seat. Uh, this table drops down for more uh, action area. And then there's a suction unit there. Your controls for the suction unit are right here. Your squad a bench has storage underneath. So flip, flip this up. You have your squad bench with some storage underneath. There's also a sharps container bin that would go in here. Trash can that can go in here. 
you have controls on both sides. You have uh, controls right next to the squad bench area. And you also have, let's silence this alarm. I'm sorry about that. So we're gonna silence that alarm. That alarm is for your main oxygen bottle. Since there's no main oxygen in there, uh, the pressure is zero and that alarm is on because of the pressure. So uh, let's see, where were we? So again, you got uh, controls on both sides. You got controls on the action area and you have controls on the squad bench area. These cabinets have outlets inside uh, coming in to the inside side door. There's a, a light timer and there's also a main controls to turn on all your lights, right flood lights, turn them on and off. You can also lock the doors. These are power door locks. This cabinet slides out. It's got a key on there. Uh, these come out as well. And then these are these two cabinets are adjustable. The shelves are adjustable and it's accessible from the outside and inside of the ambulance. Whereas these two are not accessible from the, ins from the outside. It is a window only. And then all your electronics are behind here. If we uh, go to our home menu here, uh, let's see here. Let's turn on our inverter. So it does have an inverter. I just turned on the outlets and they did pop, uh, light on. So it does have an access panel to be able to get into your main oxygen bottle, turn it on and off. Little two little cabinets here, but right next to your action area. There's also a trash can bin that's accessible from the outside of the ambulance. Uh, it's got your standard PL custom uh, watch here with its with the light timer, and all these cabinets do slide nice and freely, and they're also uh, they can flip up for easy restocking. Same thing with this cabinet here, slide nice and freely, and then they also flip up for easy restocking. Your uh, regulator for your suction unit. If I turn on the suction unit here, so you can see it does work. If I put my finger over the suction, so that suction unit is working good. Let's turn this off. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, your inverter is gonna be inside that compartment there. There's also a little uh, cabinet right between the cab and the box and then again this has the stretcher inside the ambulance that is a power cot hey you're in the video say hi hi all right that's pretty much it And then it's got LED scene lights. So if I turn these on, so these uh, scene lights are right there. Uh, another cool little feature on this ambulance. Again, you can see that ambulance going right up as soon as I close the back doors. Uh, it's got, has uh, arrow lights built into the emergency lights, which is uh, something very unique to this PL custom box. So it has these uh, LED arrow lights. So let's turn it on and let's go look at the pattern back there. So very cool. You can see the pattern go up and down with those uh, orange LED lights on the top there. And then if I do turn on all the emergency lights, so let's turn those off and then just have the emergency lights on. So we have all the emergency lights on right now. So we have those on. That there is a front scene light for the front and then it's got a, let's turn on the turn signal. There we 
actually have your emergency hazard turn signals on right now. This light should light up when we open up the door. Yep, so this light comes on when you open the side door. And then it's on a timer, so it shuts off about two, three seconds after you close it. Uh, we have LED scene lights throughout the truck, so let's turn those on real quick. So let's go to the scene menu. Let's turn on all the flood lights. So again, you can see that front scene light is extremely bright. And then the side scene lights are LEDs, Wheeling 900 series, also extremely bright. We have pretty much every single light on in this ambulance. Let's go around to the back to see how those emergency lights are doing. So we have our halogen scene lights, which is uh, backup lights. Then, then here are LED back, our LED brake and turn signals. So we got your LED turn signals, LED brake lights, and scene lights are up there. And then these are all flashing red at the top. So you can see that the lower portion now is red, and then the orange portion is not turned on since I turned off the arrow switch. And then these are uh, ground lights, which I don't have on right now. So I'm gonna turn those on real quick. Turn on our headlights. Let's go to our... Uh, this ambulance does have a Zyko. Main oxygen bottle lift. So you gotta make sure it's unlocked and then you could operate this. So as you go down, this whole thing goes, comes out, goes all the way down to the ground for easy main oxygen bottle. And then you go back up. And it is made here in Yardley, Pennsylvania, which is about 20 minutes from thing so we have that this ambulance is star of life certified so you have your certification here so we can go down with that the main oxygen bottle goes in there so you don't have to lift it now go back up with it Keep going. Keep going. That's good. And then we're gonna lock it back into place. That's it. So we're gonna lock it back into place right here. And that's how you lock it. And then if you wanna unlock it, you just go up with that. And then you come down. And then you can go back up. And then lock it yep you got it uh, what's the wrench for it's the wrench is to put the regulator on it so it's got a regulator right here and that regulator goes on the main oxygen bottle and that what that wrench is used for right here can you open this compartment for me so that's gonna be another compartment where you could put your trash can here and then adjustable shelves. And then coming around to the right rear compartment. Put a stair chair in there. It's pretty big. Let's go around to the right side of the ambulance and open up. And that's where your backboards would go. 
So we can put our backboards, our stair chair, and then it has three adjustable shelves that can go up and down. And then this ambulance has a sliding door. You can slide that open and then this compartment is accessible from the inside and outside. <laughs> so there you go, it's accessible from the inside and outside. Adjustable shelf. And then coming around to the front cab, very clean, no rust on the rockers. It does have a window pass through. So it's only a window access panel. <laughs> so it's only a window. If you're small like my son, you could probably slide through it. <laughs> but a normal EMT is not going to be able to go through that. Again, it's very clean unit, no rust on the doors, no rust on the rockers. It came from uh, Southern or Southern Mar Maryland actually. So yeah, this ambulance is from Maryland. It was uh, kept indoors in the fire department, one owner. You can see it's very clean underneath, no rust. This is a four by four ambulance. We're gonna do a quick video of operating the stretcher. So again, this ambulance drops down when you open up the rear door. It is a rear air ride suspension. And this is has the power load system, which is very easy to operate. We have my son on the stretcher as a, so we wanna do this. What we wanna do is we will push this button and then you're gonna slide the stretcher out and then the lift works automatically. So we come all the way out. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna lower the legs. And then the stretcher's completely out. We're gonna push this button right here in the center, which unlocks the stretcher. And then that's it, we're out. And then to go back into the ambulance, we're gonna slide the stretcher back in place. Very hard to do with one hand. Alex, don't unbuckle. So we're back in the ambulance, the lights turn green. And then we're gonna raise the legs up. So the stretcher came up. And then all we got to do is push it inside the ambulance. And then it's going to go back down and lock itself in place. And that's it. <laughs>